Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here and welcome back to Overcrowd. Our previous episode did quite well and everybody was clamoring for some more Metro building action. So welcome everybody. Again, if you like games such as uh, Planet Coaster or uh, really closer to Project Hospital or even Two Point Hospital and games like uh, Train Station Simulator, this game is definitely for you. I've been on a big building kick. So we're going to start a new game here today, Fresh Start. And we're going to, after our first look, learn a lot of lessons, but not everything. So we're going to start with a new sandbox mode, give it a couple of episodes. So welcome, everybody. If you want to see more, make sure you show your support. I'm going to go ahead and start a new uh, sandbox mode here today. We're going to go through some of the options, and I'm going to try to make it a little harder on myself, but definitely not too crazy, so that way we can still see things in the fresh light. Last time, I started with half a million uh, dollars, and we barely went through any of that. So this time, let's start with just one... 125,000, so just a, a fourth of what we had before and see how we do with that. We also, I think, started with 100 bonds, so let's go ahead and bring it down to maybe 25 bonds. And we're going to unlock everything again, too, just so we can build a station as quickly as possible. Otherwise, things just have to be unlocked by paying for bonds. And by uh, getting bonds, that's how you unlock things. So it's an interesting way to do things. Uh, we'll start with a few applicants, and we'll also try to uh, we'll leave it on normal. Uh, victory. We're going to play this endlessly, so we're going to have no victory goal. We'll turn uh, scenarios off, and we will uh, set things to commuter flow. Let's go ahead and go above average. Uh, litter drop rate looks good. Map, map width 39 by 39 looks good to me. Number of floor blocks for our initial concourse. Uh, 4 by 4 seems good to me. Let's go, with, uh, let's go with one area of 4 by 4. And let's also go with uh, one area that is blocked off by a building. This here will essentially make an area that we can't build in, so we'll try to keep that limited too since our space is going to be much more limited. And let's go with um, one entrance above and one entrance below, and let's do, actually let's just go with uh, two entrances above, and let's do two tracks that are below the ground, uh, like, actually let's make them really deep. Let's make them level two. Two level two, so that's gonna be cool. What can we have for tiles then? Sandstone, blue, red tiles, green, white tiles. Let's go with green and white for our wonderful little playthrough here. Okay, that should be good to kind of keep things rolling, but also keep it interesting. So let's go ahead and start, and we will see exactly where we go. So whatever happens, happens. This is just going to be the way it is. Again, if you have any helpful tips, please go ahead and share down below any tips you might come up with or, or any tricks or anything you think I should do. Go ahead and let me know down below. All right, looks like we've got over here... Uh, Victoria Line and the Northern Line. We've got Upper Street and uh, Carnby Street. Perfect. Ooh, and the music's really going. Nice. All right. So let's go ahead and get building our entrance. We'll go ahead and pause things for now. And so that way we don't lose any time or any money. I don't think we have to pay any upkeep until we've really actually opened the station. So let's get started then uh, by connecting our lines. So we've got two lines down here uh, that are going to come through. So we certainly want to uh, make them connected this way. And this is the area here, this little gray blotch that we'll never be permitted to build in. So we'll need to watch out for that. And I think the bigger our uh, station area, the more that we can actually... Um, the, more, the longer the train is, I think, the more passengers we can get on. So let's try to do something like this. Uh, and then we'll build to the other side, too. So it looks like we'll start with this one train here. And we'll have to get people down two levels. So we'll have to probably build on top of this. So let's try something like, um, actually, I wonder if we can build from here. Yes, we can build on the surface this way. So that'll make things a little easier. And what we probably want to do is bring people over here just between those two stations. So pardon me as I make a big old, big old mess of uh, tile across the screen here. I'm going to try to get these uh, connected here. And everybody should be able to buy their tickets for the metro and everything above ground. Let's say this one is maybe near a football stadium or something like that and that, uh, you know, everybody's coming in from the surface level, and then we'll need to get out of town by going deep underground. So let's go ahead and build a second level now. I think we can do that quite easily in this game. If we build a little area here, we can build a couple of uh, escalators that go down this way. And then all we gotta do is sculpt the floor by right-clicking, and we can go down to level two. Like this. Or we can just hold right-click, and it works that way too. So that's pretty helpful. Okay, so now we've got our uh, second floor, or our second story floor, where we can build more stuff. So here we can put, um, you know, little newsstands or something like that, whatever we think would be uh, viable. And uh, I'm going to put another platform over here. So let's extend this way. And I'm going to try to build down over this direction to build another platform just around that current one. So let's try to build this way. 
and we'll try to build a station that's comparable to this one. This one seems to be, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's make it ten. So we'll go with ten here for starters, and then we'll do the same here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we'll put ten here. So I think we can build it all the way to the edge like this, and we will need to have a station on either side in our first little episode. Very good. All right, so we want to connect to both of those trains as soon as possible, but we won't have them connected just yet. This will be an area for uh, additional um, maybe control room, utility rooms, and maybe f food or something like that as the upper area is going to be built on a little bit later. We want to make sure we converge all these people together to one area of the platform. It's going to definitely be crowded. That's the name of the game there, overcrowded. So there's definitely a, <laughs> an element of trying to keep things a little separated as much as possible. Otherwise, people get bumping into each other a little bit too much. So let's try to build a little bit over this direction. We'll have the train go underneath here. And we'll try to make use of much, as much of this space as possible. There we go. Okay. So we'll need staff rooms, a few other things too. We're down to 118,000. So we've certainly spent a bit of money on our platforms. Let's try to use up a little bit more of this space. This will be for our utility rooms and things. So let's put all the utilities up here for our station. I think actually that's going to be good just like that. So we'll have uh, people come down this way. And, uh, or maybe actually come down over here. We'll figure that out in just a moment. Let's try to put, uh, let's see exactly where people are going to come from. So they're uh, going to come from here and there. And then they're going to need to come down here. So before they get here, it probably would be a good idea to have ticket machines and such up here. But then they're going to need to get through turnstiles. So we should probably think about how to connect things a little differently. So let's make an area up here then for all of our turnstiles. And... The good thing is we get pretty much all of our money back for selling off these pieces like that. 120, or, yeah, it's the same. So we, we get all of our money back for rebuilding that to be a little bit more efficient. That's a good idea. So we can, uh, let's build up here. We can build all the area up there for ticket machines and turnstiles, people coming and going. And then we can connect everything up over here. So let's try to build a little area off this direction. And then we should be able to uh, build maybe... Oh boy, I think we should probably do a 4x4 four four here, but there's only an area of 3. So let me try to build a 4x4 four four then, which will just take one little extra step. If we do this and then sculpt the floor, uh, that actually will help us, like this. Alright, so essentially I'm trying to build two escalators up and two escalators down after everybody has checked in over at the uh, ticket booths and such. So uh, I've been to Japan, I've been to Europe, I've seen their train stations, of course. My train station will be different as we're not playing by the same rules. So if you have any ideas or suggestions, please do drop them uh, down below. But keep in mind, it'll take a little while before I notice something. Remember, there's half a million of you and only one of me. So if I'm missing something or if I don't see it, it takes a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and put down a couple of escalators here. Maybe we can put them on this side. Maybe we could put uh, two escalators down on this side and two escalators up on the other side. Something like this. There we go. That nicely separates traffic a little bit. And then we can build our escalators a little deeper into the ground here. So we can try to put... Uh, oh, it looks like that escalator is actually blocking. Okay, let's move our floor back a little bit then. Giving ourselves a little bit more space to negotiate. So if I click and drag, that does work that way too. So that's another helpful thing. And let's go with some more escalators. We can also build stairs just in case the escalators need maintenance and people, you know, if they shut down the escalators completely and no one has access to them, it might be a good idea to have some extra stairs. So let's try to build a couple escalators here. And then let's put some stairs here too. So let's put a staircase down the middle. Staircases are a little longer, it seems. They're a little less uh, space efficient. So we'll just have to keep that in mind. Okay, well that looks good to me for starters. Also, I don't know why this land is flat here if we don't have anything built on it. It should be at surface level, I think. Uh, but let's go ahead and start building a few of the things that we need. So first of all, from our previous playthrough, our first little uh, test in the game, we realized that a utility room, very important, and also doesn't need to be that large. So we will build one um, over here. We're going to put a utility room probably closer to the station. So let's try to build that uh, as small as we can. 3x3 three three has to be the minimum. So I'm going to try to extend it a little bit more. And we'll build it that way. Perfect. Then let's build ourselves a staff break room. 
and we'll make that over here. Perfect. And then let's put a tool room over here. Excellent. And then finally a control room, and we'll build that a little bit later. So this is going to be a staff-only zone. So we'll kind of try to cordon that off so that way nobody comes over this direction. So hopefully no passengers walk through there. And then uh, up here is where we're going to build all of our ticket machines and our turnstiles. So let's start getting with that. Let's get with the program there, Dino Man. All right, let's get to it then. We'll build a couple of uh, openings here to go to this direction. So let's make, uh, under facilities, we'll make uh, maybe three turnstiles go in this direction. Maybe we'll do four. Or maybe three. Let's see. I think more people will be coming in than going out from the station, to be honest. A lot of them uh, don't often get on the trains until the end of the day. So we'll do three like this, and then we'll fence everything else in in just a moment. Let's go ahead and put down a ticket machine or two. A lot of the times people will come with tickets, but also they can purchase them uh, from outside the station, too. Um, you know, like at a supermarket or something along those lines. So uh, we'll put some ticket vending machines over here on this side of the floor. So we'll make some space there for that, and then we'll do the same over here. So that way people are kind of out of the way and can purchase their tickets without impeding traffic. And these areas will be perfect for that. So let's put a few uh, machines in here. So that's again under the uh, facilities tab, under ticket machine. So we'll build three of those there, and three on the other side too. We also need garbage cans and some benches and some other tool things, so we'll put those down. Let's go for the fence here, so that way people can't just simply walk around uh, the turnstile. Okay, so that uh, we'll, we'll be able to program all of these. These blinking indicators means that we just need to program it. Does the escalator go up or down? Uh, is the turnstile entry or exit uh, only? That type of thing. So we'll get to that in just a moment. Next thing is to work on a few, uh, I think, facility-related things, such as trash cans. So we'll go with a level 2 bin around here a little bit, just to make sure we keep everything nice and tidy. It looks like we're doing a good job so far. really like the way this uh, is looking. Uh, much more organized than my first station. And once we open the station, the floodgates are open, and it's only easy to... Um, once, once you've started the game, it's only easy to make modifications at nighttime once everybody's gone home for the day. So our station, I believe, closes at 11 p.m., so that gives us plenty of time to um, upgrade things, but also uh, you kind of want to keep with the flow as much as possible. Let's make a few benches for our first uh, platform, or rather shared platforms. We could do two platforms here and keep them close together so that way people don't go off too far into the distance. So let's actually build another platform here. And unfortunately, let's get rid of that too. Unfortunately, this area is permanent, so I cannot delete this no matter what. So we have to keep that little area there. Um, and that's just, I think, to go along with the game's building style of building off of pre-existing floors. So let's go ahead and uh, try to square things up over here then, with this platform too then. Okay, so we should be able to build a platform for our train. The interesting thing about building platforms is that they're kind of based off of... Um, let's go to infrastructure here. They're kind of based off of how long the platform goes until it reaches the edge of the line. Like that, for example. So uh, this one is going to be a much busier train. So let's make this one go this way. And we can also have people exit on the right side. So we could make uh, entry and exit on this side too if we build a platform over here. But that's something we'll do in the future. And then let's do the same here. We'll have this platform go the other way. So it seems like at most we can have five platforms working. So let's go ahead and assign this one to load from the right side. This is our yellow line, I suppose. And then this one's our red line, which will load from the left on our left side. So right and left like that. Cool. And then let's start assigning the escalators. We'll make, uh, well, let's see, platform one and two. So people can access platform one and two from here. And then let's make this one the same. Uh, just got to click here. One and two. Perfect. So this is the entryway uh, to these stations. And then this could be the exit over there. But let's actually do this. I'm going to make that one an entryway and this one an exit too. Now, this is going to look quite nice. So we'll have an exit there. We might change the uh, how they're set up based off of how we find things to be efficient. So let's go ahead and make one and two. We'll make the escalators. Now we'll make an exit es escalator here and uh, two entryways there. And then we'll make um, exit and both here. Perfect. All right. 
So we'll see how that accommodates traffic. It all is based off of how much traffic we get. We don't know how much is going to come through, so we'll just see over time. All yeah, right, then we want to make people uh, available to come through these. So I've kind of made one main entrance into the main platform that go two different directions. Again, one is um, platform one and two, though I've now they've lost what the streets were called. I can't quite remember the name of the streets at the moment, but uh, or rather the the lines. Uh, the streets also are gone after we put that down, but that's okay. All right, so now we've got our basic platform ready. Let's go ahead and fill it in with a few things, such as our um, benches. I think we'll go with the level two bench, not to be too f you know fancy or anything like that. So let's put uh, benches a little further away. Actually, maybe we could share benches here between the two lines. It might get a little busy, but we'll see. And, of course, the game is called Overcrowded, so I might end up being a little overcrowded uh, as I'm building in a much more restrictive space than before. However, if this becomes a problem, what we can do is make both of these escalators for this line, and then we can make a bypass that goes up over here. Like, for example, this way, that just leads to this side of the platform. That might be a better thing for us to do in the future. We've only really spent less than 25000 so we could definitely do that as a future plan. So if things go awry, we'll build a pathway here, and a stairwell down, and we'll let people uh, perhaps uh, load on this side as well, or make that the only way to get onto that train. We'll see. Okay, next thing then uh, is let's add some trash cans and a few other decorations. I think that's under facilities. So we'll add a few more level two bins. We can add level three bins, but uh, level two is good as well. We need some food and stuff down here, uh, and a big uh, restaurant. So we should probably put some restaurants or something around. I don't know exactly where we could squeeze that in at. Unfortunately, I don't think we can build any sort of... Uh, the game does not allow us to build on top. So, um, you know, if this were a real metro, there's no, there should be nothing stopping us building on top of this. But I don't think we can actually do that. Let's go to View Options. Or uh, there should be an option that allows us to pick ground floor versus top floor. I don't... Maybe we can only do it if the game is not paused. Let's see. Okay, so this allows us to look at certain floors, but it does not allow us to build on other floors, so that's unfortunate. So that's okay. So we'll have to find out another way to get food over here. Perhaps we can uh, make it a area that connects uh, by moving those escalators back a little bit. We'll find out a way. We'll, where there's a will, there's a way, and we will definitely make money from that, because the chicken shop is the coolest thing in the game. I love building this thing. It brings in some pretty good money, though it takes up a little bit too much space there. So we can build some stuff here, then. Just don't want it to be too crowded. Especially on the platform itself. So let's at least put down some basic stuff. A, tr a trash can. A couple trash cans there. Let's put down some maps. Uh, let's see what... Oh, indicators are important, too, to make sure people feel like they're on time. So we'll put those there. That'll let people know when the trains are uh, coming and going. There we go. And, uh... We also need lighting down here, too, so let's put down some ornate lighting. Oh, there we go. And same up here. Alright, kind of neat. Okay, the next thing we need is some uh, utilities, so let's build some power generators. We'll put uh, a couple of level 2 generators over here. Put them in the middle of the room. Let's make them face this way. I think with just two, we'll be okay. We'll need a fuel barrel. And we'll also need a trash can. Let's build a level one. There we go. Alright, there's a few other things we can build in here too, but I can't quite recall all of them. We also need to keep this area cooled. Oh, a signal relay. That'll be for map platforms to numeric key press to make calling trains easier. Oh, I see. So if I build this... This has to be in the control room, I'm assuming. Instead of me clicking on the platform to have the train come in, I'll just need to press a hotkey. This game is also part uh, minigame as well when you're playing, so keep that in mind. There's a little bit of an element of minigame to it. All right, let's get some more things down for our, our guests. Maybe some crisp machines up here as things will be busy. Uh, maybe we'll make a little area up there to... Uh, what we do want is large areas of open space. We do want that because people are passing by... There could be a lot of traffic, so we certainly don't want um, anybody to uh, become overcrowded. So we'll build a large area like this, maybe for our chicken shop up here, actually. 
That might be a good spot for it. I think we can put it this way. The chubby chicken. All right, cool. Well, let's put old chubby up there. And then let's put down our... We'll put down some billboards around for news. Let's actually put it up against this wall. Perfect. And maybe one here. And a couple more in the station itself. Okay. Next thing, let's try to put down a crisp machine or two. Maybe we could put maybe we could squeeze one of those down here. They do have those in Japan pretty much near the platform if needed. Coffee cart. Um, we'll put that down as well. Uh, I think we could probably squeeze that in here. Maybe we'll put some chairs around there. A little eating area. So we'll have our uh, coffee and donut, uh, coffee and hot dogs, donuts. I wish I had, and then let's go for a couple of utility. No, a couple of uh, is it commerce? Where is that exactly? I forget. Facilities, right? Let's put a couple of luxury benches because this is kind of an eating area. All right, so we'll see exactly how well this makes things work. We'll put a map here uh, for people coming into the station, so that if they buy their tickets, they can see exactly when and where uh, trains come through. All right, we'll put one over on this side, too. Okay, and then we'll put some down here on the platform as well. There we go. Hopefully that'll keep people moving and uh, feel confident about where they're going. I think this is going to be very uh, crowded, so we'll see how things work. Maybe we can make it a little bit bigger, but I do want to make mistakes here. I would like to, uh, you know, make some mistakes and then improve upon it. I feel like those plants don't look like they fit. Not as many options yet in this early access game as I was hoping, but it definitely uh, it has got to start, so it shouldn't be ignored. All right, we definitely need a uh, jerry can there to refuel our um, generators, a toolkit for repairing the trains if needed, and then what's another thing that we might need? Of course, the litter picker, which allows us to pick up trash and then also empty the garbage cans too. Uh, that area is over here. Oh, it's blocked by that. There we go. We'll probably build three of these. This area is now starting to seem a little smaller than I was hoping. Well, that's a hard spot to look into. Looks like we can only fit three of those in there. That's all right, we're maximizing our space. We can always build another one too. And we're probably gonna need a taser as well as people sometimes can get a little rowdy. Sometimes you gotta tase them, trust me. All right, a crime desk. I think that'll go into our uh, security lab, or whatever you call it, our control station. So let's build our control room over here, just off to the side. This is where we'll control all of our station from. So let's add on to this area here. And we'll make it a corridor just for staff. And we'll build onto our security station here. It, I believe, can monitor the trains and also the security cameras. So it might be good to be a bigger building. All right, utilities, no, rather infrastructure, control room, and boom. Haven't built this before, but I think I know how it works. So if it's a little too big, at least we got extra room. So we do need a level one, uh, oh, it's, has, this has to be built in the tool room, the crime desk. So we'll have to build that up there too. We can rearrange this room. Actually, we might be, yeah, we might be able to make this our crime lab. Oh, good, so level one assist tab. Oh, that is for to help provide lost commuters with the info they need to continue their journey. That's interesting. Why build that in the tool room? Shouldn't that just be built? We actually should build like a little uh, standby station here for commuters. Like through glass or something like that. Unfortunately, there's nothing for me to build like a glass booth. So that might look out of place. But in certain countries of the world, they have that. Uh, let's see. Connect this device to a platform to schedule trains to call automatically at regular intervals. Oh, good. There, there is something that will do that. And where does this need to be built? Control room, I'm assuming. Hopefully not the tool room. Must have to be in the uh, control room. Oh, perfect. So this connects this device to a platform to schedule trains automatically. Good, otherwise you have to do it manually. So that's good. So we'll build one. Whoa, 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 that is an obnoxious noise. Oh, sorry about that. That was super loud and obnoxious. All right, we'll have to build one more of those, so ripped headphone users, get ready. Three, two, one. Okay, done. We won't have to do that again. Woo! All right, level one PA system, level two. Let's get some security cameras down. Luckily, they can hang from the ceiling, uh, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, we're down to $92,000. 
Still a little bit of money. And we will want to watch the entrances too. Watch the ticket booths and any blind spots that we might encounter. Okay, well, despite us uh, using a lot of our... I wonder why this area is open over here. There should be... There should actually be nothing but flat land here for us to build on. Let me see if I can edit floor. Oh, looks like we can build there. Okay. So we will be able to build out this way if we need to. Hmm. So if we, if we need to build more onto this floor, we might be able to do that. Unfortunately, we can't build a tunnel or anything, so that makes it a little difficult. I could take out this area here. Uh, let's make that a little better. Uh, let me try to do this. Uh-oh. Trying to grab this little piece here that somehow went underground. I don't know if I can grab that. We should be able to go down to level 3. There we go. Raise that up. There we go. Perfect. So let's go... Uh, there we go. Like that. Oof. This is going to be a tight... That's a tight space for anybody to get through. Hopefully we don't build something over here that requires a lot of foot traffic. That's a very tiny space. I'll put something over here. We'll figure that out. Uh, but that's a very narrow area. Also, we wanted to put our uh, area here for people to get down to the other side of the platform. So let's make sure we prepare that. I think that's going to be an inevitability. So let me just disconnect that for now so nobody walks over here. But I think eventually we'll have to put some sort of a way for people to get down here. So we'll uh, we'll build on that in a future episode. We've only got 90000 in the bank, which seems like a lot, but it could disappear quickly. So let's go ahead and work on our signage now. Um, let's see, it says, uh, confirm signage, no route from platform 1 to exit. Which shouldn't be true, because there's, uh, arrows pointing up and out to all exits. Let me just click on these here. It should tell us if anything's wrong. Uh, two-way. Oh, I see, you can also make it a entrance and exit only. Looks like everything here is good, so that was a false, false indicator. But now our station is finally open, yes. So let's open both sides, very good. And let's go ahead and start hiring some staff so we can get our generators and such powered up. Uh, everything's offline now because they need power, so let's go ahead and pause time while we get some more. The game will not let you hire staff until the station is open. So you do need to kind of do this in order to trigger the next station or the next thing you can do. Is everyone... Oh, they're actually walking around. There we go. Okay, now we're paused. Now, hire some staff. Whoever's the highest in uh, maintenance repair is probably going to be our man. And that would be Logan Mitchell. So welcome aboard, Logan. And let's go ahead and gra have him grab the jerry can and immediately start working on powering the generators. Otherwise, we don't get any power. Kind of annoying that you can't have him here to start with because then it kind of lowers your reputation because nothing's powered. Nobody can buy tickets. Nobody can do anything without power. And you can't have them here without it. So he has to pick up the jerry can first. So go ahead and do that, Mitchell. And then go ahead and head over here and start powering up these uh, generators. All right, it is rush hour. Power should be on shortly. And we'll get working on that control room next. And there he goes. Generator should be online. And then our secondary generator. All right, that should solve the power problem. Looks like some machines are working, but not all. All right, let's continue to provide more electricity. Interesting, when I put these things down, I thought they were, uh, they were green to begin with, but it looks like that's just them being green to put it down. Alright, let's continue with time. On pause, let's get Mitchell on some of those. I don't know if these start charged or not. Maybe I was wrong about that. Maybe it was just a lack of generators. Oh, good, and the sig signal automator called a train. Oh, look at this one. This one's a very small train. So because of our limited station build, the train has to be smaller. So we got a big train here. But a very small train there. Hopefully we can extend this one. But again, the biggest trouble in this game is the fact that you can't build underneath anything. It's a metro, but it almost is built like a quarry. If you think of it as a, a quarry, then it makes a little bit more sense. Like, you can't build it really on top of anything like that. So, alright, favorite thing in the game, the chubby chicken is uh, hopefully people are actually dropping by there. I hope so. All right, well, so far, it looks like uh, things are being powered. Oh, barely. Maybe we... Do we need more power? Oh, boy. Should I... Do I need more generators here? I guess this is going to just have to be the generator room. All right, let's build, a, build another generator. 
It's kind of weird. You'd think uh, our station, our metro station, would be connected to city power and not really have anything to do with... Um... A train is broken down. You need to equip a staff member. Uh-oh. We need now repairs. All right, Mitchell. You're on repairs now. You're a repair man. So the generators need re uh, refilling sometimes, but not, not like every second like he had it. So, Mitchell, go ahead and head on down to the train, my man. Good thing we got two stations going. I think we're going to need, uh, definitely need a second train here. Or a second platform to it. And it looks like a lot of people are getting hung up at the ticket station. People are upset that it's crowded. I mean, rightfully so, as it's a very narrow area. But people are also standing around. Like, what are you guys doing? Just hanging out at the old... At the old train station or whatever? Alright, so from my previous playthrough, I made a lot of changes uh, to my designs and uh, learned a lot of lessons that helped to make this a lot more efficient. So that's good. We're certainly going to have to make this a lot wider. At least a 3 by when we uh, build onto this. Just don't want anyone coming over here yet. Alright, so when this train car comes in, we can also have different train cars too. Oh, a commuter can't buy what they want at the station. The insatiable capitalist appetite, so the commuter must be satisfied. Okay. So we need to build some more uh, commerce buildings. So I don't know exactly what he wanted, but that just means we need to put down more of everything. So let's put down a little flower stand there. Doesn't seem to be a lot of traffic, but there is trash. We got a code 6. Oh, never mind. No trash yet. There will be. Oh, this is going to be very crowded. People are not going to like this. But that's all right. We can always build on. We got we got ideas. More technology is available to procure. Okay. So we're probably going to have to end up building another station over here, a utility room, uh, for other things such as um, tasers. Well, actually, we have a taser, but medical stuff, that type of thing for emergencies, and, and one for emergencies and one for maintenance and uh, stuff like that. All right. Really cool to see the station functioning. All right, not seeing really any problems right now that I can solve immediately. We are losing reputation, but we are gaining it. We started at 50, so we're up 50 to 61. Let's go ahead and make this a staff-only area here so I don't forget that. There we go. We'll make this all additional staff-only room so we could put another maintenance uh, room here, another corridor for maintenance, and make advantage of the rest of these. Okay, so the train, the auto train caller is a good thing. I didn't use that in our initial playthrough. Didn't really know how that functioned, but this is good because it automatically calls trains. It gets people off the platform so there's not overcrowding. Let's take a look at the heat map. Everything is relatively cool, especially since people are lower uh, down below in the uh, in the ground. So you de you definitely don't want people to be too hot. Being hot is one thing that's bad for them. Looks like we got somebody here who's lost, so we need to build some of those utility buildings now, like a little uh, booth for them. I'm going to try to do as mu the best I can to make this more realistic to, m to my experience. Um, so I'm going to try to build a little room up here for passengers, um, lost passengers, just uh, customer service, really. So I'm going to try to build a room here. Uh, I'm going to make a utility room here. And I think that's under infrastructure utility. Uh, oh, I see. And apparently I can't build a door right there in the corner. Well, that's a little annoying. Uh, well, I'm kind of uh, blocked here. Unless I build another corridor down. Let's see if this game is smart enough to leave a wall there. Oh, it is! Wonderful, that little hanging... Oh, never mind, it's just a hanging... Oh, great. Well, that's okay. Let's try to put our wall here. We'll move that later. I guess the utility room will go up and... Put a door there now. Okay, so now let's build some more of the stuff we need for the passengers. Uh, let's build a first aid kit, maybe? Oh, that's the tool room, okay. So we have our level one... Oh, that's a tool room, too? a level one megaphone do? Alright, so we should have built a tool room here instead. Much more useful. Let's change this to a tool room. Oh, and I also forgot to put anything in the staff room, so let's actually do that first. That's much more important. As uh, probably after one day, our friend there 
uh, Mitchell will need a little bit of rest and relaxation. So under amenities, we'll build a nice little staff sofa. And we'll probably end up having quite a few uh, employees. So let's build a TV here for them. And over here we'll make a tea station. And uh, maybe a vending machine. And a water cooler too. So it sounds like things are really functioning nicely in the... Oh, that's an uncomfy chair. I don't want that. Maybe an arcade machine, too, just for fun. Build that over there by the entrance. Let's put a nice little uh, potted plant over here. wonder if we can put that in here. Ah, oh, perfect. All right, that's a basic start. Good. All right, trains are coming and going. We're gaining reputation. We're gaining money. Good. I'll need to repurpose this room. So I wonder if I could just delete. Right click delete. Can't sell floor. I want this to be a tool room instead. Doesn't seem to be a way to actually delete the room. Price, water, function. Okay. Well, I need to turn that utility room into a tool room. Oh, and everybody's going home now. So the station does close at uh, 23. So everybody's on their way out now. I think day one has been really successful. I haven't seen too many problems. Oh, hold on. we got a, a full trash can, so we do need to hire some staff for trash. So who's good at trash? 19, 21, 25, 45. There we go. Was that Olivia, was it? Olivia, welcome aboard. Let's go ahead and grab a picker for you. And you'll need to empty those trash cans. They are full. Okay. And then, of course, staff stay overnight, just like they did in Train Station Simulator. <laughs> they just kind of hang out, even though there's nobody around. Nobody gets to go home. Now, a cool thing is, though, is that the trash cans will be emptied for free at the end of the day, so you don't necessarily have to... If you had 26 trash cans and they're all full... Uh, the game will automatically empty them for you at the night, so Olivia really doesn't have to do that. It's only during the day that that's important. So she'll take that trash over to the big uh, trash bin over here. A uh, member of the staff is hungry. Yes, of course. So we've got a vending machine for that, so they'll be able to do whatever over there. Um, looks like we also have a medicine cabinet if somebody's feeling ill or whatnot. Let's put that in. Uh, I guess they're able to treat themselves. I don't know. I guess everybody here is a doctor. And uh, I also wanted to put down some more stuff in the... Let's see what else can go in the um, this room here in, in the uh, command room. Vents can go here, of course. Uh, no alarms. I think that's if somebody is like pickpocketing or if there's some sort of an important thing. Uh, looks like the signal relay. Numeric key press. That was for me. That's kind of like an intermediate level, too. That's going to be fun. Signal automator. Okay, so the control room didn't have to be this big. I thought a lot of buildings went here. But this does leave room for if there's any future updates and new equipment. And, of course, the control room is going to be a little bigger. There's some staff members in there. And that's that's pretty much the same size as our... Uh, eh, a little bigger than our utility room, but still pretty important to, to be a little larger. And I think we can build down here on this side. Uh, there's a little bit of overcrowding, but not too bad. I definitely want to build onto the other side. So let's... Get ready for that. We're down to 90,000. I want to build that onto the other side. So let's extend our platform here. And we won't be able to build in this gray section, so we'll just have to build around it. So we'll just take advantage, I think, of most of this space. And we'll try to build up over here. Try to build the... Uh, we'll do that combo that we did before, the uh, two, ele two elevator, two escalator combo. Or, sorry, two uh, stairwell. All right, let's push that all the way to the corner. Okay, so we'll connect this then. I'll uh, probably make that a little closer to that. Perfect. And I think we'll just end up doing this, building this whole area like that, since it is a pretty large platform. Okay, and what is this? Oh, this automatically skips to dawn. So if you want to skip the nighttime building sequence, you don't, you don't necessarily have to do it. Okay, I think I've built all where I can around this thing. Okay, so those walls are just around that thing. That's like a support be uh, beam for a bridge or something like that. I don't know. Or a building that we're just not permitted to build around. So that kind of makes laying things out a little interesting. Okay, security cameras look good. 
Um, I think we'll have to make this an entrance and exit too. So eventually we can make this all be um, like entry and exit to this platform and that platform. And we can also separate things with the fence. So if you do have an open area... Uh-oh. Sir? Mitchell, you okay? Oh. Wow, sir. Uh, oh. Whoa. Oh my goodness. A pickpocket has entered your station, but who is it? Uh-oh. Let's see. Use with... Oh, uh... Staff with caution or use the ta... We can actually taser them. Okay. So it looks like we're going to have a pickpocket today. I'm sure the security cameras will detect that. Uh, looks like we also have low power because we've got a few uh, few things going on here. Okay, we need to hire a staff member right away. Uh, uh oh, we, oh, 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 oh! All right, we gotta hire somebody. I didn't feel I didn't know Mitchell would have a breakdown so soon. It was only his like first day. Uh, let's see here. So who do we want here? Repair maybe. I think another repair person. Maya Reed would be good. All right, relax there, Mitchell. Jeez, have, have a have a have a drink, man. Actually, Ma Maya, come on over here. Grab the uh, jerry can. Wow, well, he's crying while like munching on like uh, crisps. Oh boy, this is a bad time to have uh, power outages. It's just weird that you have to attend to generators to run a metro. What is this? What metro is like in the middle of downtown that they don't have any connections? Looks like we got our our thief right there. All right, we're going to need a detective on this. Johnson, you're on the case. Grab the taser. Get ready to snap that pickpocket. Stop, criminal. Initiate takedown. All right, good. Reed's doing her thing. Oh, good. Once you set them onto refuel mode, they automatically do it, so that's great. Oh, no, and that train's broken down. Oh, Mitchell, what's your problem, dude? Drink, drinking, watching. Okay. Right, let's go watch the taser in progress. Oh, she's already been tased. Don't worry, Officer Johnson's on the case. She tased her, and now she's walking to jail. And that's how it works. Whenever you get tased, you've got to walk to the to the jail. You guys know the rules. Can I trade him? How do I... Is there a way to trade employees? I'd like you to... Can you give her that tool? Okay, I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> give her the... Uh, give. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, de-equip tool. So we can get that thing repaired. There you go. All right, come back here, Mitchell, and get your snack. Get your snack on. You come over there. Grab that. There we go. All right, this uh, has set us off. Oh, good. We're at 79% approval rating. Very good. All right, we'll get this train repaired, and we'll keep things rocking. What did you think for our first episode? Where else could we improve... Should we, uh, you know, continue to build this out fully and then do, like, a big grand station with, like, uh, a massive, massive, like, five-line station that's uh, multi-level? Would you guys like to see that? Well, let me know down below in the comment section on what you want to see next. We'll get these trains repaired, and we'll continue on with another episode. I think this will be, like, three or four episodes of us building the station and filling out all the space. And then we'll come back and do a tremendously huge station to see how it works. All right, guys, thank you very much for being here. You are all fantastic, so thank you very much for supporting the channel. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone.